Hey, welcome back to the channel once again. My name is Stella Ninja Blogger. Today, from the title of this video, I know you know what we are going to be talking about. Tips to start rabbit farming. And we are going to move in straight to our farmer. He is going to take us through his rabbit farm. And he's going to explain to us what you should know if you are a first timer and you want to enter into this business. You can share any idea you have in the comment section below. If you have any questions to ask, I'm going to drop his number and his social media handles in the description below. So don't worry, you can go and check him out and ask any other further questions. Let's enjoy the video. So uh, this is a 12 room cage, a 12 room metallic cage. And this is the open, this is the door. You just, you just pull the knob up and just swing it up and put it back again. So the the rabbits are the top, are they male or female? They are all females. They are all yes, females. Female cage, yes. So how many how many rabbits can be in one cage? Uh, you just have to keep one rabbit in the cage. One day in the cage. That's for your breeders. Oh, okay. And for your breeders, you have to keep it's very necessary to keep one in the cage. For your breeders, that's the dose and the bats. So why why is it why is it so important to keep this one? Okay, um let's see. When you keep more than the one in a cage, let's say two and two, three, four, five, uh, they'll start fighting and uh, rabbits can be very notorious animals. Oh, okay. They love to be too, uh, territorial. Oh, okay. So when you have uh, more than one in a cage, you end up fighting. Yes. And probably they might even kill one or two. Okay, so what about the feed? Do you have any special feed? Oh, there? yeah, I have uh, that's a feed prepared for rabbits. That's okay. the association where we try to uh, produce a feed. Let's say each uh, in a month we produce a, in just a, a week. We use uh, one weekend to prepare feed so that we just come for them. Send them to our farm. So, what special? Do you have any special ingredients you use? Or? Oh yeah, uh, the food consists of soya beans. We have maize in it. We have wheat bran. We have uh, rice bran and other concentrates. Yes. So, is that the only thing you can feed them with, or the other stuff? That... Oh yeah, as you can see, I have. Um, you can feed them with gas. I have uh, maize maize uh, cask over here, and it's also good for rabbits. You just okay. have to, when you go to um, go selling the maize by the roadside, you can get it, wash it with salt water, and uh, after that, dry it a little bit. Yeah. It has to be semi dry. We know rabbits are fan of carrots. <laughs> is, it a, is it also an option? or? Oh, it's an option if you are keeping rabbits for the aspects. Oh, okay. Because carrots, you know, are very, very expensive. expensive. Yeah. So when you are feeding your know, commercial rabbits um, carrots. Rabbit, uh, carrots at the end of the day you run at a loss you run at a loss yeah. okay so i can see we have newborn babies here yeah we have newborn babies over here this one gave birth i think uh two days ago it had um seven seven bunnies Seven bands, very very tiny hairless animals. Oh, okay. Yes. So for the first ten days, um, they are blind. You don't see anything. Yeah, they are hairless too. They don't have hair on their body. So they start developing their hair. I think from four or five days, yeah, they start developing hair on their body. But for the first four or five days, they don't have hair on their skin. Yeah. So how when they give birth, how many? Normally, do you get on the average? Um, you get around five, six, seven. That's what you mostly get. The average, you get five, six, seven. Yeah. And sometimes you, you can, some farmers have even recorded about 11, 12, but the highest I've recorded here is 10. 10. 10, yes, and the lowest I've recorded here is two. You can even sometimes you can even get one. Oh, okay, you get one money. So, how long have you been doing this? Oh, I've been doing this uh, since January, January 2020. That's oh, okay. two months before the lockdown. Oh, okay. 
Okay. But I can see the urine here. I don't know. This is the urine channel. Okay. So when it urinates on the, um, the aluminum sheets, it just slopes down to the urine channel. And it comes straight into the package over here. Yeah, it comes straight. Yeah, that's what we have at the top and the second one. But the last one, it falls on the ground. It lays straight on the ground. Okay. So do you do you use it for any special? Okay, for the urine, I don't really use it. People um, people use it for uh, insecticide and fertilizer, but you know you have to have knowledge about it before you can use it, else they are going to damage your crops. So we have a ratio of urine to water. Yeah, let's say one is to one uh, bucket of uh, the urine we have here to two buckets of water we serve as insecticide or we serve as fertilizer the same ratio let's say three buckets of water to one bucket of urine will serve as fertilizer so that's what i don't really do but i use i use the droppings for, for to fertilize my garden i have some tomatoes and something and something small for the house okay so walk us through your water system okay have the bucket over here. This is the bucket. So you just have to fetch water with another bucket, just pour it into it so it gets full. So after it gets full, it runs through the pipes, the PVC pipes over there. Yeah. So let's let's take a look at the connection behind. Behind. Yeah, yeah, behind. So it just runs through. It runs through the PVC pipes. So when the um, when the rabbit gets into contact with it, with the mouth, it just drops into the mouth. Yeah. Oh, okay. If you can see the water dropping, yeah, that's the water. So it just drops straight into the mouth and it will suck it so it gets full. Okay. It runs through. So also the what yeah. Oh, okay. That's nice. So when it gets empty, you just we top it up. Yes. Okay. So I do it twice a day. That's in the morning and the evening. Because rabbits drink a lot of water. With this system, the the problem is one disadvantage is um, it will develop. Uh, we have this green green. Uh, I don't know how they call it. Green, uh, green. When you go to the bathhouse, yeah. yes, you, you see some over there. It develops in the tubes. So what you have to do is uh, open the last end, the, the last nipple. Yeah. Yes. You just detach it and wash it with uh, apple cider vinegar. Oh, okay. Yes. So with apple cider vinegar, it will not wash it very clean, but it will just treat the molds and everything in it so when you open the last the last nipple you see that everything will run through it you just see the dirt coming out yes so that's how it works Uh, my number is 024-991-4119 and um, my social media platform, the name of my uh, farm, that's WAP Farms, W-A-P, uh, then Farms, that's on Facebook and Instagram. And when you want my value addition page, that's where I add value to it, make uh, grilling, uh, kebab, uh, shawarma, pizza, yes, adding value to it, fresh meat. You can contact me on Rabbit on Fire. That's on Facebook. And with Instagram, it's rabbit underscore on underscore fire. Then you add one to it. So that's how you can contact me on social media and uh, call. So where, where, where is that piece of farm located? Uh, my farm is located at Kaswa, Iron City. Just a few meters from the tow boots.
Yes, you wouldn't get to Kaswa itself. Yeah, it's just opposite Amman from a few meters from the tow boat when you are going to Kaswa. Oh yeah, I train people. It's not a formal way of training, but you can come to me. I'll give you some ideas and insights. Yes, it's not a training that I'll give. At the end of the day, I'll give you a certificate or you pay me or yes, yes. So as time goes on, we'll try and do something like that. But for the time being, I can train you. I can give you some one or two ideas, and you can use it for the meantime, and it will work. Yes.